I'm Preeti. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And today's video is on ways to increase your water intake. We all know that water is very important for our health, a glowing skin, digestion, weight loss, to keep infections at bay and the list goes on. We also know that we need 2-3 to three liters of water every day or 8-10 to 10 glasses of water. But how many of us actually achieve this goal on a daily basis? So here are my 10 tips and tricks on how to increase your water intake. The first step is to flavor the water. If the water does not appeal to you or you don't like the taste of water, all you can do is add a few slices of lemon, ginger, strawberry, cucumber, basil or pudina in mason jars when you are at home and water bottles when you go out just to add a little bit of flavor to your water. Tip 2 is to keep water everywhere. From the moment you wake up, you must have access to water. Keep water beside your bed, your car, your workspace, your college desk, etc. We know that we are all lazy to fill water bottles. So in winters, keep a kettle beside your bed or on a table which you often cross. And in summers, keep it in clay jugs which keeps the water cold. The third point is habit building. Pick a habit of yours and associate drinking water with it. For example, my habit is to eat every two hours. So I drink about one glass of water five minutes before every meal. So that's six to seven glasses of water just by following my habit. Some people have a glass of water every time they use the restroom. Similarly, every time you log on to Instagram, drink a glass of water. It's up to you. No one knows you better than yourself. The fourth tip is the empty bottle theory. This tip is for those people who travel every day to work or college and who do not like carrying heavy baggages. You can take an empty 1 litre bottle every day and fill it up at work or college and finish it before you head back home. This way you make sure that you finish at least 1 litre while you are away from home and also that you don't have to carry water. Tip number 5 is fancy bottles. This tip might sound a little silly but it actually works. This is basically to kickstart the habit Make sure that you buy a very fancy, a very cute water bottle that you won't be able to resist to drink water from. Just like when you pick up a new pen, you can't wait to try it out. Or when you pick up a new shampoo, you just have to try it immediately. The sixth point is substitutes. Foods like cucumber, watermelon also contain a lot of water and helps in reducing dehydration. These foods must be part of your daily diet. Also, decaf coffee, herbal teas and smoothies can increase your water intake. The seventh point is apps. These days you have apps for everything. For not just tracking the amount of water you've drank today, but also to send you reminders to drink water. I'll mention the links of some of these apps in the description box below. The eighth tip is in line with the previous point, which is tally marks. If you are not an app person, you can always use tally marks to track the number of glasses of water you've had today. The ninth tip is to use a large glass of water. Every time you drink a glass of water, fill the next one up and keep it on the table beside you. Chances are that you will finish it in the next 10 minutes in the fear of something falling into it. This trick always works for me. The last tip is restroom break. Now this is probably one of the main reasons why people refrain from drinking too much water. The trick here is to plan ahead. Never leave your house, office or any building without using the restroom first. And I think I should mention this as well that the color of your pee determines if you are hydrated or dehydrated. If your pee is yellow in color, that means you are dehydrated. And if your pee is clear, that means you are well hydrated. Hopefully, these simple tips and tricks help you stay hydrated. With that, I'd like to say goodbye. But don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment below. See you next week. Bye.